x squared minus 7 x plus 12 is equals to 0 right so we are supposed to solve for x right so if we try and uh, factorize this we're gonna get x and then on another bracket we also have x being equals to 0 the right question to ask yourself at this point is which two numbers do I multiply and get 12 and then when I add them I get minus 7 right that is minus 4 and minus 3 so we're gonna get x minus 4 x minus 3 being equals to 0 so it is easy to see from this point that x is equals to 4 or x is equals to 3 and just like that you have scored yourself three marks and then the following equation 1.1.2 we have x multiplied by 3x plus 5 being equals to 1 we're supposed to solve for x correct to two decimal places as soon as you see two decimal places at this point you should know that you're supposed to use the quadratic formula right so let's go ahead and try writing this in standard format so if we solve the left hand side we're going to get 3x squared plus 5x is equals to 1. we take one to the other side to get 3x squared plus 5x minus 1 is equals to 0 right we know that we cannot factorize this so let's just go ahead and paste the quadratic formula x is equals to minus b plus o minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a right so if we go ahead and substitute so this constant here 3 is a uh, 5 is b and minus 1 is c right so that uh, we are on the same page and then if we substitute we're going to get in place of minus b we have minus 5 and then plus or minus b squared so we're going to have 5 squared minus 4ac a is 3 and c is minus 1 everything divided by 2a a is 3 right so we have x and then x will be equals to so one value you're going to get 0 0.18 and the other value you're going to get x being equals to minus 1.85 and just like that we have solved for x using the quadratic formula let's see if we can do 1.13 right it looks a bit more interesting so for 1.13 we have x squared which is less than minus 2x plus 15. let's take minus 2x plus 15 to the left hand side and see what we get we're going to have x squared plus 2x minus 15 being less than zero what can we do now critical values we need our critical uh, values right so to find our critical values we're going to say x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equals to zero again we're going to open two brackets we're going to open two brackets and ask ourselves that key question again which two numbers do I multiply and get minus 15 but when I add them I get plus 2 that is plus 5 and minus 3 so we're going to get x plus 5 x minus 3 so x is equals to minus 5 or x is equals to 3 right so let me propose something to you what if i say x is between minus 5 and 3 is this the case we cannot just conclude that that holds right we have to actually test it out and see if our inequality is going to be maintained so a number between minus 5 and 3 let's go ahead and take 1 right so let's not forget that we started with x squared being less than minus 2x plus 15. so if we take 1 we're going to get 1 squared on the left hand side right so that is 1 which is supposed to be less than minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 15. so we have 1 being less than so we have minus 2 plus 15 that should be 13 right and then indeed 13 is greater than 1 so this is actually uh, our answer this is what we're looking for but what were you gonna do 
if we took a number between minus 5 and 3 and then our inequality was not maintained what were you going to do next what was going to be our solution you need to watch the other videos i've done on solve for x to know what to do in such cases because this right here this is not always the case right some people think that it is always like that but i'm telling you it is not you need to actually check that out and then 1.1.4 1 .1 uh, we have the square root of 2 multiplied by 1 minus x being equal to x minus 1 so it's easy to see here that uh, we can square both sides to get rid of the square root right so we're gonna get 2 multiplied by 1 minus x being equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 right so we squared here and then on the left hand side we're going to get 2 minus 2x being equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 right so if we take uh, minus 2x to the right hand side it is going to be plus 2x right and then if we take 2 to the left to the right hand side it's going to be minus 2 right and then ultimately we're going to get x squared minus 1 being equal to 0. So x squared is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1 or x is equal to minus 1. Right? So every time when you, are, you start with the square root and you square both sides, right? you're probably going to have an answer which is not necessarily true for the original equation you started with. So we actually have to go and check whether x is equal to 1 is actually a solution to the equation we started with and then we check also for x is equal to minus 1 to see if it's actually a solution for what we started with so let's go ahead and do that we have um the square root of 2 1 minus x being equal to x uh, minus 1 so when x is equal to 1 what are we going to get we're going to get the square root of so we're going to have 1 minus 1. So we just get 0, right? Being equals to 0, essentially. So 0 is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 1, there's no issues arising. What about when x is equal to minus 1? Let's see. We're going to have 2 multiplied by 1 minus, minus x. So that is 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1. Basically 2, right? And then we're going to have minus 1 minus 1. So here on the... Uh, left hand side we're gonna have uh, the square root of 4 being equal to minus 2 right so you can see that these doesn't hold so our answer here is only supposed to be x is equal to 1 right and then uh, 1.2 1.2 1.2 so for 1.2 we're supposed to solve for x and y simultaneously and then we're given 3 to the x plus y is equal to 27 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 17. let's see if we can manipulate these first before moving to the second equation so it's easy to see that we can write these as 3 to the x plus y being equal to 3 to the power 3 so x plus y is equal to 3 right um so what can we do uh we're told that x squared plus y squared is equal to 17. let's try squaring both sides and see what we're going to end up with if we do that if we square both sides we're going to have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared being equal to 9 right and then we can have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy being equal to 9. we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to 17 right so let's sub that in there so we're gonna have 17 plus 2xy being equal to 9 2xy should be equal to 9 minus 17 so that should be minus 8 right so that is uh what we have there so 2xy is equal to minus 8 right uh, but we know that x plus y is supposed to be equal to 3 
So if we make um, y the subject of the formula, we can say that y is equal to 3 minus x. Right? So let's substitute this back into this equation. Uh, if we do that, we're going to get 2. And then x is um, x is x. So x is x. And then y is 3 minus x. And then this is all equals to minus 8. 6x minus 2x squared is equal to minus 8, right? Now let's take minus 8 to the left hand side. We're going to get 6x minus 2x squared plus 8 being equal to 0, right? And then if we divide everything by minus 2, we're going to get minus 3x plus uh, x squared minus 4 being equal to 0, right? So we can write this nicely as x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0, right? So now, what are we looking for? We are looking for two numbers that when we multiply, we get minus 4, when you add them, we get minus 3, right? So that is minus 4 and plus 1. So we have x plus 1, x minus 4. So x can be equal to minus 1 or x can be equal to 4. But what is y when x is equal to minus 1? We know that y, we know that y is equal to 3 minus x, 3 minus x. So when x is equal to minus 1, y should be equal to, so that is 3 minus minus 1, y should be equal to 4. And then when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 3 minus x. So y is equal to 3 minus 4, y should be equal to minus 1. Right, so that is uh, 1.2. If you want to see the solution for 1.3, click this video in the screen right now.